So now that we have discussed about the roster and set builder form and also the definition of a set in the introduction of this topic, now comes what are the different types of sets which we have in mathematics is what we are going to discuss in this session. So there might be many different sets, types of sets, natural numbers, integers, real numbers. So these are the different types of sets which we have seen in the real number system. But generally in mathematics, there are many types of sets. The most important of them being the null set or finite and infinite sets. So let's see the definitions of different types of sets in different various orders. So coming to the null set. is also called the empty set. So empty, the word empty says that there's nothing inside the set. The word null, nullified or empty makes us understand that this set does not consist of any elements inside the set. So when I say take the definition the set which has no elements inside it is called a null set or an empty set. The other name given for null set is an empty set. It is empty, no elements inside it. So with an example, the notation is that it is denoted with this or this. Usually the null set is denoted with phi. This is read as phi and this is also one of the symbols for null set. Phi or this is how I understand the null set. There are no elements inside it. How do I write the set builder form of this roster form? It's very simple. When I want to write the set builder form of this, I write this as x as that x is not an element inside the set is how I smartly write the roster form the set builder form of this roster form so the set builder form of the null set is x as that x is not an element inside the set there's no element so this is how I write the null set the other type of set in mathematics is the singleton set. The set which we're going to discuss next is about singleton set. So what is a singleton set? Single. The word single says I'm only one. I'm single in the class. That means I'm the only person inside the class. So I'm single. I'm a bachelor. I'm not married. I'm a single. That means I'm the only one person. So single is only one element present. So when I say singleton set, it makes me understand that there's only one element inside the set and that is single. So singleton set is a set which has only one element inside it. There's so many examples you can take a set which has only one element inside set. For example, I take 4, 9, E. So these are all singleton sets because I have only one element inside the set and therefore they are singleton sets. But when I take, this is not a singleton set because clearly there are two elements which are 4 and 6 inside the set. Therefore this does not form a singleton set. Now with the definition of singleton set there is one important property which we have to differentiate between the null set and the singleton, singleton set. Now What is the difference between this and this? I want to find the difference between 
this and this. Many of them assume this to be the null set, but which is not true. To make a note, this is not a null set. If you think this is a null set, then that indicates that you haven't understood the definition of a null set exactly. This cannot be a null set because I have one element which is zero, which supports with the statement that a set which has one element inside it, zero is also an element. So therefore, this set has one element zero. Therefore, this forms a singleton set with the single element zero with single element zero whereas the null set says that it has no elements inside it therefore this forms a null set but this does not form a null set because there's already one element zero inside it so it is a single turn set single turn set and this is a null set and this cannot form a single turn set because there's no element inside it no single element is how I understand the difference between this and this. Singleton set and the null set is how I differentiate those two example problems.